hello everybody welcome welcome why is my vtuber model not working today we will be going into the ranked mode with only a handful of cards we will be doing it so that i only am able to open up five master dual packs and then we'll be going on with the least amount of cards we can which is 40 card deck and we'll be trying to climb the ranks with whatever the heck we pull we also will not be using any of the starting decks because uh heck the starting decks all right you gotta go power up dragons boys why dragon is just the best card you could ever get ever Look at him, so powerful. 3,000 attack, normal monster. Enter player name. Mancer Chip. Oh, it's got a download? It's fine, it's fine. Few moments later. Okay, we got exactly 1,500 gems here, everybody. And we're gonna buy five packs. We're gonna make our deck fully out of those five packs. We'll just buy these ones and see what we get. We're gonna make a full deck out of just these packs. And then we're gonna try to go into, uh... <laughs> To, get to ranked and see how well we can do. Two guaranteed super rares, I think is what that means. That's not too bad. Yeah, let's just go one at a time because every single card here is going to be impactful. Deltroid, that's actually playable. So what we're looking here is just for playable cards and this one is 100% playable. Miss control another Roid monster activate and resolve this effect. Okay, this is a terrible card. Well, this is actually a great card. Okay, this is basically useless if I don't get any infinite track XZ's monsters. That's kind of sad. I guess this is fine. This is really very archetypal though. This is actually a great card. If we don't pull any big beat stick monsters that we can get to stick on the board, this is actually like semi removal almost. As long as they have a high enough defense. Yo, we got an XZ's that is very specific to fire monsters. Oh no. We need a field spell for this card. Oh no. Really great card for us to get. If we could pull a field spell, this is actually a good card. Okay, okay. It's not great. If we get some normal traps, it'll be a little bit stronger, but this is not the labyrinth card we would want. <laughs> This is a great card for us. It's a normal trap, which the Labyrinth card needed. It's something we could activate whenever, so we can always get that Labyrinth card out. And it's a type of removal. This is actually probably the best card in our deck right now. Oh, this card is absolutely useless to us. This is a good card. If nothing else, 1600, 1600. This is a great card. Not only is it a hand trap, which I was not expecting to get at all, it is also a type of out that we could do if, like, the monster has a lot of attack but very little defense. This is useless to us. This is a decent enough card. If nothing else, it's a card we could play. It's a fire, but it's a level four! It's not the three-star fire we needed, sadly. This is a decent card if we had a rank two or a link two. 1700 beater, that's all I need to know. This is actually removal. That's insanely good for us. Any form of removal in our terrible deck is insanely good. This is literally just a two-star monster for us. Not terrible, because we could play it, unlike some of these spells and traps, but not great. Banish any number of Marinza's Link monsters you control. Useless. This is a dead card. It's a field spell! It's useless to us, but we could stick it on the board and play that Earthbound Immortal card now. Huge! If I just had, like... Any ritual card and another incantation card in my deck, this would be decent. If we can get a way to excavate this card, it's actually not terrible. Unplayable. Very disappointing. Okay, good card if we ever get a synchro monster. This is only good if you have other tr like higher added cards. It's just the 2k one tribute beater for us right now. This is insanely good. It's some kind of removal for us. This is useless to us. Unplayable. It's a fiend. We can make it a tuner. If you control no spell, you can special summon this card from your hand. We could use it for tribute summoning. And it's also semi removal. This is a great card, actually. It's only an 1800 defense point monster that we can't normal summon. Not terrible. It's a card we can technically play. Not great. I think this is the only normal monster we have so far, so that's actually pretty good. Hey! When an opponent's monster declares attack, you can discard one spell slash trap to take one to buy. Useless. Unplayable. Okay, this is really good. 
This is the card we could put in our graveyard and still special summon it. That's huge. What the? Oh my god, a second ultra rare! It's a Synchro! We can't play this. This is unplayable for us, right? Currently. Currently, we cannot play this card. In the future? Probably not. What? Okay, a second field spell. It, again, a useless field spell, but a field spell nonetheless. Good card. We can attack directly with this. Amazing card. And it's a spirit, so it always comes back to her hand at the end phase. Insanely good card for us. Kalki Ring, uh, useless. <laughs> oh my god, dude, we're getting so much good removal in these five packs, my god. That's the best card in our deck right now. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, and then the final ultra rare card of our five card pack opening. It is a Rebirth Judgment. Once per turn, you can declare one monster type. Monsters in the graveyards become that type for the rest of the current, current even if this card leaves the field. What do you do with it? <laughs> it's a trap card for our, our, our Labyrinth. That's all, you know what, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Insanely good pack opening, Chris. So this is 42 cards total. Two of them are extra deck cards though. So I think we could still play this. We don't have to do another pack opening. Wait, am I missing a card? Wait, 38. Am I missing a card? I thought we had like 42 cards. Did I miscount? It's 40. Yeah, I miscounted. So we're gonna have to do another pack opening, sadly. This is an insanely good card. Oh my god, we are balling out of control right now. It's kind of useless, but you know, it's a playable monster. I'll take it. That's pretty decent. This is a playable card. It is a two tribute, which will be difficult for us, but it's a playable card. What is this? Super Anti Kaiju War Machine Mecha Dogaron. Okay, so this is terrible. This is unplayable. A special summon card and a tuner. I'll take it. I don't have Sanctuary of the Sky, so this is a useless card. Yo, we got that Sylvan um, Sprout card or whatever that needed to be excavated. That's now playable. This is useless. It's just a garbage card, but it is playable technically. Now let's finish up that deck. A little longer than a few minutes later. This is our masochism deck. Also, I don't know if I said this before, but the only way we can upgrade our deck in this game is by winning a duel. For every win we do, we get to open up an extra pack. It's gonna be harder than you think. We are literally in the lowest rank we could get. This is the bottom of the barrel. Get ready for the next battle. Okay, I think this turn we just, we just set Mirror Resonator and go. But next turn, we can special summon this by getting rid of this and then normal summoning that. That's like our main thing we could do here. They're sure taking their time. Are they, are they here? Okay, here we go. Psy Reflector. They're playing an assault mode deck. Oh, we're so screwed guys. <laughs> if he special summons any monster at this point, we're kind of screwed. He's got an assault mode activate. Yeah, we're kind of screwed, guys. I also should have kept this in my hand and set the scar instead, because I forgot. I thought this was the one that like just changes its um its level. I didn't know this was the special summon one. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think this is winnable, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Come on, my tribute summon, Nethfit. That's not great. Do we just go in for damage? I think we just go in for damage. No, I think we saved the special summon. I think we saved the special summon for a tribute. Right? Yeah, we just save it. We save it. First damage of the challenge. Oh my god. He didn't even set Assault Mode last turn, which is interesting. He sure has taken his time, though. We respect the man who takes his time. You gotta think through your plays. You gotta read your cards, guys. Why does he have a TG Booster Raptor? Why does he have another Stardust Synchron? This is bad. If he gets a Stardust card out, okay, he's he's just setting. He's just ending his turn. Okay, this is playable. This is playable. This is playable. Gravity Lash. We got one of our outs. We're going all in, boys. We're going all in. 
We need the damage. We need to beat this guy down before he realizes how to play his deck and sets assault mode. Okay, he's got no traps that can stop us. I'm guessing these are the spell cards you got. Guys, I think we're playing an NPC. This is the only way we're gonna win. First game, first win. Hello. We'll set that just in case. That goes back to our hand, of course. It's a spirit. If he summons like a Stardust Dragon and attacks into Ancient Warriors, we could just kill it. We could just out it. I don't think Stardust Dragon's effect activates during... Oh no, that's a different card I'm thinking of. Stardust Dragon, yeah, because nothing is getting destroyed with this. Oh no, guys, he's got the 1600 beater! This is really bad for us. Do we Gravity Lash it? Oh no! What the... Okay. The fact that he lowered his own life points is actually kind of huge for us. If we could get over this Synchro Monster here, we can just win next turn. Okay, it's Shooting Riser Dragon, which I've never heard of before. This is winnable! This is so winnable! Okay guys, first game, first win. I'm not jinxing it, I promise. This is fine. He just attacks with this. We out him. Oh, I forgot about these cards. <gasps> he's just attacking. He's not, he's not. Oh, he's go. Okay, that's fine. He's gonna kill the Mirror Resonator. That's fine. We can still out this with our, with our quick play. We're fine. Guys, we're fine. This is fine. This is winnable. It's, it's the worthless trap. Okay. This is winnable. Okay. We're going in, boys. We're going in. Just in case something happens, we're going to activate it in damage calc. It's at 400. We got over it. Go in with the other two. He's got nothing. Guys, we just won our first duel. Our very first duel with the Jake deck. Oh my God. That feels so much better than winning a normal duel. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Oh my God. And we get the legacy pack tickets. I'm going to say we can use the legacy pack tickets we get. Because these could give you, these give you like two cards each. And they're not great, but they're probably playable. And we just got three of them. First things first, let's open up the master pack. I mean, that's just karma right there. That's karma. We beat the guy with the assault mode activate and we get an assault mode activate. This is just like, you know, we're a rare hunter. We just stole his card. Unplayable for us right now, but it is a normal trap for our Labyrinth card. This is playable. That's a decent card. That's actually a really good card. Playable. Absolutely playable. Hard to get out. Extremely difficult for us to get out. This is at least a playable special summon. Core Blaster, unplayable. We do not have a Koki Kawaki Maru card. This is playable. This is surprisingly playable. Also, it can work with uh, our Sylvan cards. It's another field spell. It's another field spell that we can't use, but we can use specifically for our Earthbound Immortal. This is actually a good card. Okay, I'll take this. If we set this first turn, it doesn't get destroyed. Flip, Tribute. We can Tribute Summon over the two tokens. Insane Hand Trap. I cannot believe we just pulled the Battle Fader. Holy shit. Insanely good pack. Oh my god, so many playable cards. And then we get the bonus packs. We have three, count them, three marshmallows. Unplayable, terrible card. Not a terrible card, actually. I'll take Raging Flames, right? Unplayable, we do not have a Blade Dragon Monster. That's semi removal. That's actually a really good card. Good card, good card. Not great, but it's a 1900 beater that is semi playable. By this effect is destroyed by battle inside the graveyard. Draw one card! A draw card that's playable. Okay, we've gotten some interesting pulls. Let's add them to the deck. One eternity later. Who can stop me at this point? With my cards, man. I'm too powerful. Yeah, I'm not winning this. <laughs> I'm not winning this. Eventually. Insanely good hand. Oh, fuck it. Shard of Greed. Is this an Exodia deck? No, couldn't be. What is he chaining off of this? What is he trying to chain? What? 
Am I crazy? What is going on here? Does he have something that pops off if a continuous spell is destroyed? What? Is this a... Is this a... Huh? Oh god, he's gonna MST it again. Oh no, he's fine. Okay? Is this a guy who doesn't know how chains work, so he's just clicking all the buttons? He's like wondering what they did? That face down I don't enjoy. So let's Breaker the Magical Warrior it. Well, let's get rid of the Shino Bird. It's uh, a lot worse. Okay. Winnable? I mean, to be fair, that was actually a good hand he had, so... Oh, okay. Well, that's not good. Okay, he, yeah, I was gonna say, if he didn't choose Breaker there, we'd actually be super good. I think this is someone who maybe played Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day and is trying it out again for the first time. He doesn't really know what he's doing, so every time a chain prompt comes out, he just, like, hits it without thinking. But hell, we take these wins. We take these wins. If we win this one, even. My opponent needs to go at least three cards negative. Oh, but then he gets the shard of greed. He didn't, he didn't even go negative at all. Okay, set card. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Hopefully we get our, one of our tribute summons soon. Let's hope we can get over this set card here. It would be shield wing. That's fine. We can get over shield wing at least. Thank God, too. Is that scrap iron? You gonna scrap iron me, boy? Okay, well now I'm scared. Two face downs. And me without my breaker anymore. This should be lethal if he can't stop it. If this is wall of disruption, I'm gonna cry. Maybe it's like Sakuretsu armor. It's Kunai with chain! That's definitely the wrong one to Kunai with chain. Okay, he survives another turn. Respectable with the kunai with chain. That was not the one to kunai with chain though. You wanted to kunai with chain this thing. Oh yeah, okay, shield crush. Interesting, 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 interesting. Yeah, no, you see if you destroyed this, it would have been better for you. We've got another set card here. But is this gonna be our second win of the day on our last duel? Let's go in. Try Blade Caress. End his life. Just just stab him. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> the double call of the haunted. This is insane. Wait. I can still win if he summons it into attack mode. It has to be in attack mode. I can still win. I could just beat over this. Or I could just beat over that. Oh, I still win because it's an attack mode. Oh, thank God. You can survive if you want. But I have destroyed you, Ethan. Ending it here. I will see you guys all tomorrow for some more of this probably. And I hope you guys all have a good day. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.